Hello, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Um, let's get your reading started. I know I don't hear from you guys often, so I would like to hear from you guys more often. Um, welcome. Welcome to my channel. So people who are new uh, subscribers, thank you for being here. I am a psychic medium. I am a clairvoyant, so I read intuitively. Um, also, I am a medium, so I offer mediumship readings. I do connect with people who have passed on, people who are no longer alive, okay? Also pets. Um, and I'm going to leave all my information below. Instagram is probably the fastest way to get a hold of me just because I'm, I'm not too good at checking email, okay? My readings vary, you guys. Um, I am going to go ahead and post um, an introduction about my style of readings, I don't do any video, video or phone readings right now, um, mostly because of my spiritual contracts right now at this house. And like, this is a very karmic time as far as me living here. Okay. So I don't want to start anything new while I live here. I'm going to wait until I move, which is very soon, possibly the next two months. Okay. So my readings are done, emailed PDF file, um, full intuitive guidance. I show you the picture of the cards. I explain my intuition, you know, what I'm seeing for you and um, full detail of each card, past, present, future, or um, it may be a themed reading. So we can also chat through messenger and I'll tell you what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing, maybe open up your energy. For those of you who don't, who've never had a reading before, um, Please ask questions about my style. I am not like your 24-hour, you know, psychic online. Like, I'm far from that. Um, I have a BA in psychology. I am someone who really brings you into self-awareness. I'm really, um, I'm the kind of reader that taps into your subconscious, who helps you develop your esteem, who helps you transform yourself, you know, I'm really, I'm an alchemist, right? I'm, I'm like a shamanic heal, healer kind of vibe, okay? I don't do any of these ask 10 questions and then I'm just going to give you answers. Like, that's not high work, okay? That's just not my style. So if you feel that that connected with your soul or your vibe, great. Message me, okay? So Taurus, what's going on for you? Who are you dealing with? Taurus, some of you guys are, are uh, healing from a breakup, okay? Some of you guys are healing from a breakup. I keep having a vision of a lot of kind of nostalgic feelings. Maybe someone really hurt you recently. Um, this person kind of um, I feel for some of you, this person kind of up and left with someone else. Or this person kind of up and left you high and dry. This is a general intuitive message, okay, for Taurus in general. I haven't started the gender specific, so I haven't started the masculine or feminine. This is all in one. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio, something happened in November or something happened in November that really set the tone with this relationship. And I feel like they either asked for a divorce or they either asked for... Um, time away or there was a break in this relationship. I feel that there was a break of trust here for, for some of you, Taurus. This person broke your trust. Especially if you're dealing with a Capricorn. Capricorn Scorpio, I feel. And something happened in November for you guys that really shifted your relationship. So this week, January 6th through the 15th, I feel that there's going to be a lot of healing to do for you. I keep seeing you guys out in the snow kind of feeling cold. Are you guys feeling left out in the cold? Some of you guys are dealing with a Jesse.
Miguel, Arturo, Arthur, Amanda. Yeah, there's this vibe. Like, I feel, you know, I'm feeling like there's just a lot of healing to do. And even as I'm shuffling, I feel kind of like this, this feeling of sadness. So who's coming towards you? So let's see, there's going to be a lot of messages here. I see a lot of messages coming in, but I feel that mostly Taurus, I feel like you're dealing with someone who, um, they kind of just, it's like, I keep seeing them throwing a wrench into your illusion. Like you had this, like you had this fantasy of this person that you guys were going to be long term. And I feel like they kind of, you know, sorry if my eyes were closed, but I'm trying to kind of get your vibe from the screen. Um, I feel like this person kind of just ripped the illusion away from you. Like you really thought it was going to be more than what it was, you know? And I feel like it wasn't that. And this person wasn't honest about it. And they just kind of came in and just swept the rug underneath from you. Okay. And I'm feeling a lot of feelings of just trying to work through it. You're trying to work through this feeling, right? going on for my I'm trying to pull out a card for my Taurus feminine energy I'm sorry my males my males Taurus masculine energy who are you dealing with and then we'll jump right into it okay so I feel that um, some of you guys Sorry if I'm being really quiet. I'm just trying to channel you guys and I need, sometimes I need to process and hear and see before I say anything, okay? So some of you guys have moved out of your place with your partner or this person has up and taken everything away from you or they have said, you know, I don't want to be with you anymore this week or you have decided that you no longer want to be with them but um, I feel that there is, it's like you're waiting for them to contact you about something. I don't know if you guys have assets together, if you guys have money, you know, kind of tied into your relationship. I feel that there's a wait. It's like you're hurting in silence. You're in pain in silence, but you're waiting for this person to contact you or vice versa. Okay. Or they, I really feel that this person up and literally shocked you. They shocked you. Um, they either left you for someone else or they like left or they just up and said, I don't want to do this anymore and kind of left you with that feeling like, well, what happened? You know, like, um, I think you knew that there were, you know, there were issues in the relationship, but it's, it seems like they kind of made a, a hasty kind of, you know, like it, it just seems like they, they had been holding it in and never communicating how they really felt. And now I see that they're letting you know what's up and you're going to heal this week. There's a lot of healing to be done, Taurus. Okay. So, um, Taurus ladies, okay. Feminine energy. You're dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I feel strongly. This is a Pisces. Strongly can be a Scorpio, but any of those three signs, but my intuition is saying you're dealing with the Pisces. What is he feeling about? What is this uh, water sign feeling about Taurus? Um, this person has abandonment issues. Whoever you're dealing with, this is a grown, this is an adult. This is someone who is established, but they have abandonment issues. And I keep seeing that you're, there's something that you do. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces can be a cancer as well. There's something that you do that triggers their abandonment issues and you're trying to work through it with them. But I see them, 
you know, Taurus uh, feminine energy. I see you kind of feeling like they're being unfair because they're projecting this need to control you. And I don't see you really liking that, okay? They need control and you're not doing well with that. How are they feeling towards Taurus ladies, feminine energy? their secret feelings towards Taurus feminine energy they're just going through a rough time right now I feel I'll show you the cards what are they secretly feeling what are they hiding from Taurus they're hiding how controlling they are Taurus. They, they really got issues. They got issues with being left behind and they may have kind of glossed over that or you may know, but it's like it's starting to come out. It's starting to spill out. What are they hiding from Taurus? Taurus feminine energy. Restriction. They withhold love and affection from you when they want to punish you. I feel like this person is, um, they're very in tune with their emotions, so they kind of use that to be icy cold when they want to. What are they hiding? Yeah, they have this power control. It's like this power trip. This power trip, they need to, first of all, they're stalking you. They need to know your every move. There, there might be slander. There might be rumors or gossip on their part because they can't have you or you have pulled away from them. But there's a lot of activity online for my Taurus feminine energy. You're dealing with someone who needs to have control. So there's this power, there's, there's this um, power imbalance, okay? So someone here is giving, someone here is taking, but I feel that there's, you know, in a, in a kind of what they're hiding connotation, they're hiding the fact that they have control over you, that it's tit for tat, okay, that there's a lot of, um, they come off as they're generous, but the reality is if you're not following what they want you to do, they take away from you financially. They may more make good money. They may kind of threaten finances, okay? They are out of control emotionally. They're a mess, okay? Especially if this is a Cancer or a Libra. This person is just really intense. They're hiding. They're hiding their intensity. Um, they're not reacting from their higher selves. So this is all about lower vibrational reactions. This person, um, they feel that, you know, they're having a hard time. Like, they're not really having that good luck with you and they feel like they're coming out of feelings of restriction or with you they feel um that they're coming out of a codependency they want to heal a codependency they want to heal something to improve the connection um they do i feel like they do see you as their world you know you complete them but there's issues that they need to work on this week that are going to be very relevant and so you're going to have to like you know, you're going to have to be like, wow, right? Like, what is really going on? Um, so I do see them, you know, coming in. I feel this is someone you've been dealing with for quite some time. But I feel that, that, that you know they have some trauma or issues around abandonment. But it's spilling into the relationship and it's driving you nuts, Okay. Now let's move on to my Taurus males, okay? We have the Queen of Pentacles. So what is she feeling towards you? This is a Taurus, Virgo, or another Capricorn. Another Earth energy, okay, for my Taurus males. I feel this is fresh energy for you guys, okay? What is she feeling towards you? This is someone who may have a higher position. Um, she may even be a boss. She may be someone who um, is in control of, of, of some kind of business. 
Um, maybe she has a higher status than you, okay? So what is she feeling? You may also represent a father figure to her. You may also represent that aspect of healing to her, okay? What is she feeling towards Taurus? I feel that this woman has um, an issue with my Tauruses who are, are artistic. I feel that, you know, this person is coming in and they're kind of sizing you up a little, Taurus males, my masculine energy. And I feel like she's really asking you, like, well, what do you do for a living? And I feel like Taurus is a lot of my artists out there or my musicians or my, you know, if you're in the creative field, like she's sizing you up based on that. And I don't feel like she respects your path right now because it's not in alignment with her own path this girl is really successful like i see a lot of success around her aura um there's a lot of status around her there's a lot of prestige around her and i feel that what you're offering her behind the scenes she doesn't feel it's enough she doesn't feel it's enough because she doesn't believe that what you do for work can actually pay off in a way where you can make a living okay so she's really sizing you up based on your income and what you make for a living and how you you live because she herself is a boss right so she's kind of wanting i feel like she wants kind of like that balance between both of you okay what is she feeling towards you taurus so we already had that yeah she she feels like she i don't know i feel like there's She's very strict. She may even have specific um, patterns in how she dates. And she doesn't feel, she just doesn't feel Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. She doesn't feel like you're leveling up to her um, standards. Um, but also she feels like she herself is, yeah, for some, I just feel like if you're in the art, art field or the music field, like she's not in alignment with that. Like she's very logical and she doesn't see that you can be successful by doing that, right? So she's, she might come in and ask you if you're into like, oh, what about engineering or what about doing something else that makes more money? I, I feel like there's gonna be a conversation like that, okay? For others of you, um, you may be dealing with the Taurus um, Capricorn or Virgo with an Aries moon, sun, I'm sorry, moon or rising or Venus. So what are they hiding from you? Or they wanted to start something with you and it just didn't pan out. They feel like they, there's, there's a break here. There's a break up or a break. And now things are kind of awkward. There's an awkward silence. My intuition feels like there's an awkward silence right now. What are they secretly hiding? What is Virgo? I'm sorry. It may be a Virgo because I just said Virgo, but Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. What is this earth energy hiding from Taurus? Taurus masculine energy. Okay. What is she hiding? What is she hiding? Woo. Um, Okay. So, what is she hiding? So she has an ex, or there's someone in her life who's a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay, um, let's pull one more card. What is she hiding? So there's a part of her that may be using this relationship as a rebound. She already has kids with this person. She has an established kind of relationship with this person. She's coming out of it or she's still in it, but she's still, she's, she's not like, I feel like this is a rebound energy. Like she's trying to figure out, um, where to go with you, but she's having trouble doing that because there's someone else in the picture. So this lets me know that she has an established kind of, either she just got a divorce with this air sign or she just, something happened here, but in completion with 10, that lets me know that this is a, a complete like family situation, okay? They are hiding that they may still be married even though they're separated, all right? So Taurus, I feel that maybe coming in with, I feel that this week, 
you're going to have to kind of ask those questions about, are we committed? Are you still married? Because this person still has this air sign in the back, in the background of their energy. So what they're hiding is that there, there's a lack of progress of bringing your relationship into fruition because of this air element. Okay. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Bye.